first thing to notice about this question that it's for six marks. So expect it to be brutal and make sure that you write down all your workings. Even if you get the arithmetic wrong, we want to pick up the maximum mark for the method. So be careful now to designate what you're dealing with a sequence, T, and when you're dealing with a series, S. Right, we're asked for the number of terms it takes for the series to be greater than 25. Now if you add up the first three terms, you're already on 19. So I'm guessing it won't be more than three or four more before the series gets to 25. So we're going to attack this with brute force. We're told that this is a geometric series. Therefore, Tn equals Tn minus 1 times R. Now you can eyeball from the first two terms that R equals 2 over 3. It's the fraction required to get from 9 to 6 or from 6 to 4. Now let's quickly calculate the first terms of the sequence. Hold on to our hats. This test is going to test your grade 8 arithmetic and fractions. T4 is T3 times 2 over 3, or 2 and 2 thirds. This means that S4 is equal to S3 plus 2 and 2 thirds, which is equal to 21 and 2 thirds. Similarly, S5, with the same kind of arithmetic, gives 23 and 4 ninths. S6 gives 24 and 17 over 17 20 sevenths. But this is still under 25, but we're nearly there. S7 equals 25 and 24 over 81, which is greater than 25. Sure, that gives us our answer, n equals 7. Alternatively, if you don't have the stomach for brute force, we can use the formula for a series from your info sheet. Sn equals a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Now we know that a equals 9 for the first term, and we've already got to r equals 2 over 3. Now put this equal to 25 and solve for n. Simplify this to 2 over 3 to the equals 2 over 27. Then using the log of 2 over 3 of 2 over 27, solve for n, and this gives n equals 6,41, or the first whole number that gives us s and n greater than 25 is 7.